Hey guys, Rayvon here. Welcome back to Working Class Outdoors. Since we left you last, we covered those two pieces of decking in the back and got them installed. And right now I'm working on framing this area right here, which is just going to be a, a panel, a flat panel with carpet. And working on framing over here. I know you've heard me talk about it a couple of times. Um, this is going to be, I'm going to have my gang switches right here. My control for my um, live well. And the live well cooler is going to sit in that area. So that's what we're focused on today, trying to get it framed out and um, the pieces of plywood cut for it so I can get them primed and painted. And uh, then it'll be on to working on hatches. I think I'm going to have to trim down most of my hatches and uh, redo all the edges with paint before I carpet them. But we're getting old oh, so close, guys. We hope to finish this week. It's Sunday before July 4th. We hope to finish sometime this week. Um, stay with us, man. We're getting there. Thanks for watching. Hey, guys. Well, I got that framed in. I got the pieces of wood cut for it. They're primed, cut out for the switches. We got this framed in in the plywood. A couple coats of paint, cover it with carpet. We'll be wiring as soon as my heat gun comes in. I burnt my other heat gun up. I have a thunderstorm coming, so I'm going to have to stop. Imagine that. We'll see you tomorrow, guys. Thanks for watching. Good morning, Working Class Outdoors. Rayvon again. We're back with the floater. It is Monday of July 4th week. I'm off this week. We hope to finish the floater up. Um, since the last video, I'm not sure if I, pretty sure I told you, got all that carpeted. But what we worked on yesterday was framing up this area, which is going to have all of our switches and our bus bar and all that good stuff fuse panel back there and fixing this right here it's just going to be a flat panel to cover that area up um, got all that cut out they're all on the saw horses got one coat of primer one coat of paint on one side so today we're going to try to get a couple coats of paint on those and Probably, well, I got some cleats I need to install. Uh, I got that little bracket right there. I need to drill out and rivet the holes up. And um, I'm wanting to shorten up the power cable to the trolling motor up here just to give me some more room. And then after that, uh, I'll be down to the thing I've been dreading, hatches. Because I know I'm going to have to trim some of them, and I know it's just going to be a pain in the butt. But anyway, guys, that's what we're down to. Hopefully, we'll be finished. Get you turned around here. Hopefully, we'll be finished in a couple more days, 95%. Um, I know I still need to get a couple of collapsible paddles. Uh, I still need to get the stuff for the seat pedestals and the mounts and all that good stuff. Um, I need to get the the rear, never mind the jungle in the background, but the rear um, nav light is supposed to come in Wednesday. So I need to buy the actual pole for the front and the back nav light. And... There's just a couple of odds and ends. I would like to get a waterproof box. The one I have right here is too big. It won't fit in my hatch. So I need something a little smaller just to carry some tools, some electrical items, um, toilet paper, uh, registration and all that good stuff, insurance. And um, so I'm... 
looking for a waterproof box to store a few things like that and we're getting there I keep saying it I keep saying it we're getting closer every day it won't look like much gets done today it'll be a little stuff but um, tomorrow our heat gun our new heat guns coming in hopefully we'll have all the panels painted and carpeted by tomorrow and we can get started on the wiring see you after a while all right guys we had another productive day check this out we got all the hatches covered we got even got a hinge on this one right here hinged up we got hinges on these two hatches boom check it out pedestal mount done these hatches done 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 it's gonna be a pedestal mount here we got the hinge ready she looks sweet don't she I'm telling you looking sweet I can't believe it yes sir yes sir yes sir tomorrow morning we'll be covering those panels right there and installing them and I'll be starting an electrical after I install that hinge right there I still got to find some piano hinges for this these two and these two right here this one in the middle isn't gonna have anything and I'm I'm toying with the, going with just a nylon web and strap for handles I got some push latches some slam latches coming but honestly don't know if I'm gonna mess with them when they get here but we'll see I might take a notion all right guys we'll see you in the morning all right guys had a good day check it out we got all the hatches covered we got the two pedestal mount the front pedestal mount the rear pedestal mount we even got hinges on some of them got hinges on this one she's hinged and oh, let me get my opener oh good lord got the hinges on this one camera skills are awesome today Hinged on that one. Hinged on that one. Check it out. Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. We're getting so close, I can almost taste it. We got all the pieces for these side panels. We got them primed and painted today. Two coats. Tomorrow, we will be adding carpet, installing them, and finishing up our wiring. The only thing we won't be able to finish tomorrow is the rear nav light because it will not come in till Wednesday. Anyway, guys, we'll see you in the morning. On the floater, John Boat to Bass Boat Bill. See you in the morning. I've already said that, but we'll see you in the morning. Have a good night. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to the floater, John Boat to Bass Boat Build. Yesterday, we got all the hatches carpeted. We got our pedestal mounts in. We got a few hinges. Today we're concentrating on the side. Getting this panel done. And getting that boxed in so we can start final wiring. As you can see, I've already started with some of the carpet. This won't take but 15 minutes and we'll be done with it. And we'll be on to wiring. Hopefully my heat gun will get here soon. If not, I'll be doing it with a lighter. Pray for us. Anyway, guys, we'll see you after a while. Thanks for watching.
<laughs> Look at this, guys. Look how clean this looks. Oh, Lord. Tell me that don't look good. Sometimes I amaze myself. I'm telling you. All right, I got one side wired in. Still got to do my zip ties and stuff, but there she is. Check that out. I'm pretty proud of that. That's going to go to my live well and my spare bilge pump to fill my live well with. I'll talk about that in a later video. Maybe today. Who knows if we get that far. Well, I got my wiring done. I'm just finishing up here, putting a little dielectric grease around everything. I got my... I've already tested. Everything's looking good, working. pretty sweet what do you think of that guys we got done with the wiring today oh but that nav light right there should be here tomorrow got that panel boxed in got this side got all of our wiring in there there's our cutoff for the back motors everything's operational right there our cutoff for the front motors is up there. I won't bore you with that, but there it is. I gotta figure out me a way to hold that panel down. I think I'm going to use some velcro or something. Looks clean. Check that out. Got our live well timer right there. That's gonna power our live well which is going to be a cooler when we hook it up that powers these that that powers these oh it is on there you go you can see there's our LED lights I can't open them right now that's the bilge pump you hear it running and anyway guys that's where we're at it's looking sweet. I put the grass on the mounts just because. Really, all that's left now is um, trying to figure out a couple places to mount these cleats. I think I'm gonna mount the rear ones right here. I think I'm gonna mount me two in the middle of the boat right here, and then I'm gonna mount two up front in this area then I need some rod straps and our posts and our seats and uh, just some miscellaneous stuff that I want to keep in the boat like an extra prop uh, an extra plug um, a few odd and end tools and things like that but we're about ready to put this baby on the water test her out Thanks for watching. We'll see you tomorrow. Storm's coming. Imagine that. Mosquitoes killing me. Good morning, guys. Welcome back to Working Class Outdoors. It's Rayvon again. It is July the 3rd. Haven't been with you guys in a few days. We've done a few things since we saw you last. We went to Bass Pro Shops. We got our pedestals. Our front and rear pedestals so we got some seating now we moved the boat to the front yard I was had to move the boat I needed to mow and I was killing all my grass around it we got our golly I'm having a brain fart what are those things called Jesus I can't think of what they're called but we got them installed <laughs> We got four of those installed. We're probably going to put two more on the back of the boat. We got us some um, grab handles put in for our for all of our doors. Uh, front and rear rod straps. We got that 
got those put in. There's a front one up there. Pulled our rods down. Um, you saw the switch panel last, but we installed this just now around for our live well timer. It is operational. Got a spare bilge pump right there. That's how we're gonna fill up our cooler. We plumbed our cooler. So it's now a fully functioning live well now. We got that ran out with the same connector on it. Thought it out myself. Hopefully it works and lasts a long time. Just gotta seal up that hole. And um, right now, I still have four hatches that don't have hinges on them. So I got four hinges, I'm installing those, and when I get that done, all the hinges, all the hinges, all the hatches will have hinges. Um, as you can see, we're charging the batteries right now because one of my buddies, Trey, is on his way over. Uh, later today, we're going to take the boat out for a test run, see how she performs, and see if we can get these two gratis, two Hummingbird graphs um, dialed in because I don't know anything about side imaging and down imaging and all that stuff. But anyway, guys, not much left. It should be done. I got. I just installed that one right there. That one's got a hinge. There's our little pull. This is looking good, man. Looking sweet. All right, we're on the water. Trying to get the grass dialed in. Everything's working good. Here's a channel right there. You come back up out of it. Well, guys, got the boat back out on the lake this morning. First fish out of the new floater got the skunk out of it yeah baby he swallowed that jig too rolling on pretty good the floater is working awesome i've only caught one fish today but better than nothing this was really just another test and run. Um, gonna fish a little while longer and gotta get back to the house for the 4th of July cookout. Stay with us.